Welcome back to Vlogmas Week 2. So week two was about putting the baskets together. I made last minute store runs, um, got a lot of the smaller things that were going into the baskets, got all of the wine in and started putting them together. So what I did was I bought some craft paper, craft wrapping paper from Hobby Lobby and um, crinkled it up just to fill in the bottom so that everything didn't sink. I put the wreath on the front, I crinkled it up at the bottom, covered it with a napkin. Um, these I found at Home Goods, but I didn't end, ha end up having enough. And I had purchased some from um, World Market in just a solid red. And I put the blanket in, I put the tall stuff in the back so that you'd see it from the front. So I put in the blanket that we gave them um, I have some pretzels that we bought at Target. Um, they're all candy coated. And then crackers. Then we put in the wine um, in between the crackers and the blanket. And then I started filling from large to small. I put these crisps, I think they're from Spain. We added our logo mug. Then the tin we filled with popcorn. We added the sausage and the cheeses. Now I've got to tell you a little story. The first year I did this, I put together a basket with sausage and cheese. And I went to this place downtown Houston called the Dairy Maids. And they have tons of cheeses there. And they're all delicious. But you have to keep them refrigerated before you deliver them. And... I would not allow anybody to take the basket until we took it out of the chiller, the ice chest or whatever we were keeping it in, then give it to the customer. And it's just, when you're driving such long distances, it's really hard to determine whether, you know, it's, you can't wrap it right. So anyway, I asked someone in the dairy section, what would be the best cheese to give to customers it didn't have to be refrigerated and they all recommended the laughing cow cheese wedges so that's what i did but the, you'll see i added the chocolates i got some um, nut, um crackers christmas crackers from the, the little gin, um, what's it called the nutcracker there that it's just a fun little thing to add to it and i put chocolate in it also so once you got to the front of the basket it was the smaller items and it looked really cute and here I found the wrapper that you put um, the, the bag in these I bought on Amazon I'll link them in the description box below but I bought bags over at um, Michael's and I just did not like the way that they look they look kind of cloudy and I bought these on Amazon and they looked so much better just a lot cleaner you could see through the bag and I liked it a lot better and as you can see, the bag is a little bit bigger than my basket, which is fine because once I wrapped it, you'll see that I used packing tape to tape down the underside of it. And I put my labels on the, the you know, um, the gift tag on it beforehand because it was a little difficult to put it on once you've already wrapped the bag to not put it on the creases. So that's what I did. And that turned out great. Customers are all really excited about their gifts.
it's Saturday. I can finally work on my projects. I've finished decorating except for these things. And um, that's why I get to be creative. Well, not that I haven't been creative all week, I guess. But, you know, I once tried to sell aprons back when I was younger. And I would work during the week, have like a bake sale. So I'd after work, I'd work on baking. And then I would take it to work and sell these baked items so that I could make money to buy extra fabric so that I can make aprons, go to a, um, like a craft show booth or something and sell them. But you know what? I think once you're past that first creative part for me, I got burnt out from it. My dog is drinking water over here. So sorry about that. Anyway, I got burnt out from it and it was no longer fun. That's why I didn't do anything like that. But you know, I've been watching these creative people with their booths or, you know, their online stores and stuff. And they don't necessarily make the same thing twice. I mean, they might make them in a different way or, so I might give it a go eventually, but um, right now it's for my own. <laughs> And if I make extra, which I can, because I can still be creative, then I will list them on a store someday. But it's been so busy at work. And um, and then with trying to put out videos that I love doing, because I can show you how, you know, show you what things I've, projects I've been up to. So anyway, I, have a couple of projects that I'm working on this week for my house. I found this at a thrift store and I think it's just like a candle hurricane thing. You put a candle in here. You probably put stuff around it, but I thought it would really be cool as like one of those snow globe type things where you can put a scene on the inside and then put the snow around it or trees or something. So, this is clean. I need to clean off and then I'm gonna paint it with this old school. There are these molds and I think the round one would just fit, but you know, you can always trim it. And then I found these, these are JRV decoupage papers and they have sand, these all these little vintage Santa scenes on it. And if I found one that fit in this mold, be so cute up here. I've actually um, bought on Mercari a vintage Santa that I was thinking about using on the inside of here if he's not too big and then put some little miniature Christmas trees around it. I think that might be cute. Aren't those pretty? I found these at where my local stock is uh, in Old Town Spring at the um, store called Farmhouse Inspired. And she carries uh, Roy Cycle papers and JRV papers and she ch carries their stencils. So, and she has fusion mineral paint. I made a few molds with my paper clay then realized I didn't have the glue to adhere them, so I had to go to the hardware store. Lighting candles in the home. So I put glue on and it makes it slide. So I needed to put some painter's tape. You don't have to put it really tight. Just underneath where you want it to stick and on top. That'll keep it in place. So there we go. I put the glue on. I've um, oops, taped it down so that they don't move. And as soon as it dries, I will paint over it in the old school. So when I went to the hardware store today, they have, you know, it's Ace Hardware. And the one by me has a lot of decorative items, home items, and this ornament. And it lights up. Let me turn it on really quick. Isn't that cute? So I was thinking, 
that. That would be cute in here. I, I don't think that I have like a little Santa figurine that would go with it. But I do, I do have one over on my table side. But maybe that would look cute in there. We'll see. But yeah. So anyway, let me get back. Company Christmas party is tonight, and I went shopping with my mother last night, and I found an option that's really cute. It's like um, a gold sweater that's Ralph Lauren. I found it at Dillard's, and then um, some pants that have like little gold threads in it. So they look dressy. I found those at Lane Bryant, and it, the outfit looks actually really cute together. So. My, I have to color my hair. I mean, I don't know. I'm getting to that age where, you know, I don't know. There's not an age really because I just have been lazy. That's it. I haven't colored it. So I'm either going to do brown, which is what the color I have. My mother says I should try something with a little bit of burgundy in it, which I don't, I'm not opposed to. So, but I need to go pick it up. And I've been using Madison Reed. Um, and I do like it, so we'll get that, <clears throat> and I'll bring you along. But first, I'm going to work on my Star of Bethlehem, and let's get that drawn out so that at least then tomorrow, maybe I can um, work on getting that cut, or today. I mean, it's only like 1.40, which I'm going to need to leave the house. I need to leave by 6 to get there by 7. <clears throat> if you didn't know, I live in Houston on the north side near the Woodlands and the restaurant we're going to is near Uptown. It's the Galleria area. So it, it might take me a, an hour to get there. So anyway, I need to move fast. <laughs> So what I decided that I was going to do is draw it. I had this, um, what's it called? Cardstock and legal size. Is this legal? No, it's poster size or some, I don't know, plan size. Anyway, I think to make it exactly the right size. I think that we need it to be a little bit more over this way. See how this looks because I can't spend all day working on this. <laughs> scissors ended up cutting it a lot um, neater than my drawing was. So that will be my pattern. And I cut it out of wood. Let's see, I have this one. Oh, and that's perfect. Well, that'll work. Yeah. 
Okay, so there it is. I What I did was I used my circular saw and just cut here and here. And I left it hanging here. So I cut it all my little straight lines. And then I went through with my jigsaw and then evened it out, like cut it straight here. Cause I just figured it was gonna be too much. It's just gonna take too long to, for my jigsaw to go into these corners. And then I don't know if you can see, but I used my sander and sanded down all of those sharp edges. And now it looks a little beveled. I mean, it's not really, but it's much softened, much more softened. So it, and then I, I sanded somewhat the back side, but I love it. You know, if you just try it, you never know what you're capable of doing. So anyway, there's my Star of Bethlehem. I'm gonna paint it gold, and then I'm gonna add some gold touches with that rub and buff that I have. And this is, what is this? This is Mustard by um, Fusion Mineral Paint. This is the same color I have on my dresser in my bedroom, but it's be perfect. So here's my outfit. This is that gold sweater and those pants and my Christmas brooch with my, oh, you can't see it, can you? My green earrings. So here I go. So I got home from the party and wanted, I walked my dog, but I wanted to start working on this and I didn't get it on video, but I love how it's looking. Okay, so what I did was I have this, I think it's called Prairie Sunset. It's by um, Fusion Mineral Paint and I put it on a plate here and I traced it, the outside, but then tried to make like um, little, uh, it's not a triangle, is it? No. I don't know what that angle is. Anyway, so I tried to, um, I've seen like pictures of this on when I was looking for star patterns. But what I did was I went to the middle of my point and I traced that. And um, it wasn't very perfect. I mean, it wasn't good. I made it too big until I got, until I got it to the way that I wanted it to look. And then realized that I had too much of that lighter yellow. So I went back with my, my gold and I, put more of a pattern on the inside of the center. And I like how it's turned out. So I'm going to find my rub and buff and try and put a little bit of that gold in here after this is dried, of course. So, but look, that'll look nice. I'm gonna star of Bethlehem. That's gonna look good. You know, I think the reason I decided I wanted a Star of Bethlehem over my nativity scene was because I had this wreath hanger and I normally will hang a wreath on it. But when I was looking around, I remembered during Halloween above my um, mirror on the, on the mantle, I had this moon that I had made that I had seen at a craft show. And... Um, I thought how cool it would be to have something hanging there and a moon didn't seem appropriate, but the only thing that I was missing was this star of Bethlehem. And I don't know that they sell them this large anywhere. I haven't seen anything other than an ornament. And to be honest with you, before I actually did this, I was thinking about just buying an ornament that looked like a star and hanging it there, but I wanted to give this a go. And I'm so glad I did. Look how awesome it looks. I always cut it a little longer just because normally my pieces are heavier. This one would have just taken one ply, but anyway. Is a time to cheer. Let our love our family.
Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see how I finished up that snow globe um, votive thing, please subscribe and you'll see it in my week three video. Thank you. Have a Merry Christmas and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.